Hello folks, this is Jay Johnson here, and I'm really excited to be here with Dr. Richard Hansen. Uh, we're here in Boulder, Colorado, and uh, it's sunny outside. We maybe should be out for a run, right? Instead yeah. Of sitting inside. But we're definitely trying to help you uh, with questions you might have, and uh, we had a nice response from the readership of uh, my website. In the, the question, I'm just going to look at the computer here. The question was simply injuries and injury prevention with Dr. Richard Hansen, and we had roughly uh, 10 people comment and write in. So we're going to go with number one. Uh, Jason Fitzgerald, who by the way has strengthrunning.com, really good website. He says, uh, thanks for extending this to your readers and uh, for Dr. Hansen for answering. His question is, while I'm not injured, I have a chronically tight IT band. I just ran 239 at the Philly Marathon and I'm just getting back into running. Despite everything I know about IT band syndrome, and it had been, it, I've, I've had it before and feel like I've, lo I've learned a ton seeing PTs and done a lot of research, I can't knock the tightness in my glute hip. I've worked on glute strength and hip mobility. What other things should I be doing to treat IT band syndrome? Um, well, it sounds like you're doing a lot already with the glute strength and hip mobility. Um, I would say it depends on the type of glute strength that you're doing. Most of the ones that are going to be prescribed are going to be in the concentric phase where you're doing your clamps. Uh, I'm going to stop for a second. Yeah. Can you explain real quick the difference between concentric and eccentric? Yeah, concentric basically means shortening of the tissue. Eccentric, I'm going to do one right here. Right. With, with the biceps. With the bicep curl. That's concentric. Eccentric strength would be a lengthening of that tissue. So if he was holding a weight... Why don't you pull my arm down? And I'm slowly pulling it. He's got resistance, but he's slowly controlling the speed of that motion as that tissue's stretching he's able to decelerate that, that resistance or that weight that he's and, holding. And what you're saying is most things, like, for instance, in the Myrtle routine, there's clams in there right. which work on glute strength, but that's, they're only working at concentric one, one phase of that tissue, and okay. we need both when we're running. So mobility is going to loosen up that hip capsule and that joint capsule, which is obviously going to help the flexibility of the tissue surrounding the joint. Um, but you also need the pliability of that tissue in order to have the flexibility that you're looking for. Now the IT band can't stretch, it's a tendon, and they've done studies that show that on it, that when you try to apply that tension to it, it, it's the muscle parts up in the hip, the glute med, the glute min, and the TFL that are going to... TFL? Uh, tensor fascia lata. So one's the anterior, one's the posterior portion that make up the muscular part of the IT band. When those tighten, that's what creates the tension in the IT band. So foam rolling, um, stick on the IT band, obviously those are going to help to fascially make sure scar tissue isn't building up in the IT band. But to increase the flexibility strictly in the IT band, it's going to be very hard to do that. So you need to focus on the structures at the hip. Concentric strength is obviously going to help, and it's going to help when you're in that single face stance. But you also need... Um, the eccentric portion of that to control the amount of motion that you're getting at that hip to make sure that the knee is not dipping in excessively. Um, and that's also going to help with increasing the flexibility from the mechanics at the hip. A um, couple examples would be like a soccer player kicking a ball across the front part of their body. That's an example of eccentric control at the glute structures in the hip. So concentric phase is one part. You need to incorporate the eccentric phase. Hip mobility is going to be the other part of that. How I would phase them is do a concentric exercise followed by an eccentric exercise followed by a mobility exercise. That'll get you your, your power strength in the, in the concentric phase. It'll increase the flexibility in that eccentric phase. And then you'll have um, the, joint, the joint play going on after you do the mobility exercise. So um, all three of those... I think are the key components. Obviously, most of the stuff is going to be prescribed in the shortening phase, like we said, clams and lateral lunges and side shuffling. All of those are concentric exercises, but you also need the eccentric phase to help with that flexibility. And as I look back on my own coaching, we've got a lot of concentric work, like you know, with this lateral lunge warm up, right. and with obviously the exercises in Myrtle. Right. Um, for for those of you that have been reading the blog, there's a post building a better Myrtle. You know, we need to. Uh, when I say we, we'll just point on me. I need to come up with a better group of exercises than Myrtle. Uh, although we might talk later in this in this about interview this. in this interview about Myrtle, uh, there are some good things in there. So, Jason, thanks for um, thanks for reaching out, and that was a great question.